In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Docker for Windows in Windows 10. Before I get started, I recommend that you read through the What to Know Before You Install section of the Install Docker for Windows link, which I will put in the description. Docker for Windows requires Hyper-V. The installer will enable this for you and may require a restart. Virtualization must be enabled in the BIOS and your CPU must be SLAT compatible. SLAT stands for Second Level Address Translation. Refer to the documentation of your hardware to verify these settings. The current version of Docker for Windows works on 64-bit Windows 10 Pro, Enterprise, and Education Editions with the 1607 Anniversary Update build 14393 or later. Finally, the Docker for Windows install includes the Docker Engine, Docker CLI Client, Docker Compose, Docker Machine, and Kitematic. Now let's get on to the install. First, let's go download the Docker for Windows installer from the Docker Store. Click on Get Docker, and you will be able to save the installer to your machine. I already have the installer downloaded to save time, so I'll just switch over to my Downloads directory. Double-click the installer to start the installation. Once the installer starts, I'm going to check off Add Shortcut to Desktop, as well as Use Windows Containers instead of Linux Containers. You could leave that second option unchecked if you plan on using Linux containers. This option can be changed at any time after installation. I'll go over that later. When you click OK, Docker will begin installing. Since I have already enabled the Hyper-V feature, the installer will not prompt me to restart. However, I will need to log out in back in again. So I'll click on Close and Log Out. Once I'm logged in, we can see my new Docker icon on the desktop. And when I look in the system tray, I can see an animated icon that shows that Docker is starting. Once the animation stops, you will know that Docker has started and this new window will pop up. If you have a Docker ID and will be using a Docker repository, you can log in here. I'm going to close this window and open up PowerShell. When I run the Docker version command, you can see that both the client and server engine are both installed. Now let's go back to the Docker icon in the system tray. When I right click on that icon, I'm given a set of options. Let's take a look at settings. Here are some of the general settings that you can configure for Docker, as well as some more advanced settings. If I go back and right click on the Docker system tray icon again, you can see an option that says switch to Linux containers. This would say switch to Windows containers if you had originally left the second checkbox unchecked during installation. Since I plan on using Windows containers, I'm going to keep the settings as they are. That was how to install Docker for Windows in Windows 10. Be sure to check out my other Docker videos such as how to download Docker images from Docker Hub to get started. 